everyone so i'm gonna be making this video about celebrating my birthday and tomorrow my birthday and i'm gonna turn basically 28. now the lessons i've learned when i was 27 has been like interesting because i get to learn about controlling my own anger i learned about basically the newest things available when it comes to like health and wellness i've learned how to like lose body fat by doing high intensity type of training. I've learned how strength training also helps benefit fat loss and even cardio also benefits fat loss. Another thing I like to talk about is basically just staying, well, honestly, when it comes to like <clears throat> newer things and stuff I've been learning for myself, I've learned that what else I learn? Yeah. Whenever I'm like doing 10,000 steps a day, the benefits I get from it has been beneficial. And because of that, I want to show you my birthday cake by the way, made for myself. It's really gorgeous. It's a really, it's a really nice cake by the way. It's keto friendly that I made for myself. I'll show you. It's disgusting for me to do this right now. Ah, oh, here it is. It's this thing over here. It's a. Uh, Basically, keto-friendly, zero sugar, low carb. I got it because I want to like stay focused on my own goals and well-being. And that's good because it's been interesting how I'm not actually getting any blood sugar spikes from this. But I have been like using the entire chocolate bar, which is actually like sugar-free. And it's actually like a milk chocolate, sugar-free chocolate bar I got from like Sainsbury's. So I want to show my chocolate cake anyway. Look how gorgeous this thing really is. It's beautiful. Look at it. Look at that! <laughs> it's beautiful! I just spent my entire time like, cooking it, you know? Like, look at that! Look at that beauty over here! Look at that! It's beautiful! I done like spice itself, just like making professional. And the side itself, I done like basically a cut in half, just like cooking stuff. And that's the kind of cake base I actually use for myself. But what's surprising is that from like learning this recipe itself, I did not know you can actually use basically Philadelphia cream cheese as for the frosting also. So the frosting's got about like erythritol, which is powdered erythritol. You got about cocoa powder. You got like mix them uh, half of the chocolate bar itself, just like make it sweet taste, taste sweet as well. This is the remaining chocolate frosting. And that's all about it basically. But I want to talk about like, tomorrow itself so i don't want to turn 28 i'm not it's not all sunshine and rainbows for me anyway you know no one's gonna be like you're not gonna like, spend time with your friends like celebrate your birthday and it's actually been like really tough because you get to like do this with your family and stuff but you want to do it with your friends and like friends because I just don't want to do my family over and over again because of how boring it really is. I want to do something new for myself, but I haven't got anything planned for my birthday because of stuff like this. Thursday, I messaged my friends. They were busy and stuff. They're not like, they got the day busy for themselves. They're not gonna come over. So it hurts. Like it really hurts so much that no one's gonna be there for me on my birthday. My friends are gonna be there for my birthday. It's, it hurts that no one's gonna be there. And my friends are gonna be there. They're not gonna wish me a happy birthday. Cause last year, not even a single person at work wished me a happy birthday, except Magda. And it hurts so much that you get to like go through this alone. It really isn't like that easy at all because of stuff like this. You're going through like a lot of things. You're basically you really trying to get your life in order and. No one's dead like celebrating, like, congratulate if you're in achievements. It hurts. So, it doesn't mean I have to give up anyway because of like how I'm actually like, go on things and like, placed in order for me to like sweat out. But it really hurts so much that no one's gonna be there for you. A friend of mine has to look after her niece. Another one has her plans already done. Another one wants to be there, but less people gonna be like available, which is not gonna make it special, you know. I saw my friend's birthday, you know, and 
they go happy birthday to you and this and that and that's basically it you know they, they wished each other happy birthday stuff but no one's gonna wish me a happy birthday I... Magda wished me a happy birthday but not even a single person wished me a happy birthday I mean like I feel like I've been forgotten a long time ago and it hurts like it really hurts so much that no one's there for you anyway you're, you're, you're there for yourself and you're doing whatever you can for yourself to like get better but no one's there for you. No one. There for you, what you're going through and the support towards you. It hurts. It really hurts so much that I get to do this on my own. And it's empty. It's depressing. I, I'm going to turn 28 and I got no friends like, like coming over to my birthday and it hurts. Like, they go and plan so it and stuff, and it, it's sad. Like, it's really sad. You get to, like, make your own birthday cake, and that's it. No one makes it for you, but you have to make it for yourself. And that's it. So, I'm... <sighs> I've been, like, crying every time because, like, how things are, you know? I've been like crying since January, been crying since February, March, April, May, June for a normal life where I could just spend time with my friends properly and that's it. Has been easy, you know, has been like r the greatest time of my life. Has been really tough, but I kept on going because I don't want to give up, you know, I already gave up my own life and I missed a lot, you know, I missed my friends that back in Luton, I missed my friends, I missed my colleague, I haven't seen them, I haven't even seen Camelia, I don't know how she's doing at the moment, I don't know how Kirsten's doing, I don't know how they are doing right now, but I feel empty, but I have no one to talk to, you know, properly, it's, it's empty, you know, you get to like, go through hard times, you get to like, do what you can to like, Get your client, get enough money in your bank account to like live a normal life, but no one's there for you to like celebrate your birthday. And it's sad. It's it's sad that no one's there for your birthday. And I even feel like just being in bed. You know, my mind's like basically be in bed and you sleep. But I keep pushing myself, keep going forward, keep going forward. But it's really stressful. You know, like, what you have to do for yourself to like get better. <sighs> and I don't want to can't talk to myself really happy for you, for my colleagues, for my friends. But no one can make me happy because of what I've been going through. You know, I get had to get I had to get my taxi. Because the bus is taken, so I'm gonna be late for the work because of the bus. I'm not getting paid enough to like buy decent food. I can't go out with friends. Your own friends. Your own friends are there. You you see them on your Facebook. You see them in your WhatsApp group, and you see them like. Celebrating others' birthday, go happy birthday. I even seen Shakti's birthday being celebrated. I seen Olivia's birthday being celebrated. Camille's birthday being celebrated. No one wished me a birthday. I'm like a ghost to them. And it hurts. Except for Magda, she actually wished me a birthday herself, but no one wished me a birthday. And it hurts. It, it's. It really hurts so much that no one's there for you. Only if your, your family's always there for you, but I never get some. Last year, I never celebrated my birthday. You know, I never blew a candle. I never did this, that. I was in my bedroom watching Monster the entire episodes from start to finish. Before then, finish all the episodes off, drinking sparkling water, eating. Basically, my mom's cooking with like. Yogurt curry, that's it. That's my birthday right there. 
and I feel empty again, like last year, that I never even, <sighs> it's one of the most saddest things I had to go through my entire life that I had to go through because of stuff like this, you know? Cause I'll tell you this, 10 years ago, I basically have been going to this place. Well, it's like this. Before then, my dad was alive at that time. My dad took me to this place and there was, it was just, what was the point? You know, he took me to this place on my 18th birthday and there was these people, these crazy people there. And he wants to like, like put, do something with my head, go whoosh, you know, like that. Because of like how our uh, spirit and stuff like that. But I was just upset that he did this on my 18th birthday, you know? On my 18th birthday, I turned 18. I felt so empty, like, go for that. And now I'm going to turn 28, like, 10 years. It, it hurts. I tried to, like, move on from the past. I tried to move on from the past itself into something that I want to get to. But when things like this actually happens, it's not easy, you know? It's not easy because of stuff like this. And I try to make the best of it. I try to make the best for myself and everyone else. But at the end of the day, it's nothing. It's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing to look forward to. And there's nothing to enjoy. Even when you're going through a lot. And you're doing whatever you can to get a normal life. Things like this gets in the way. And it hurts so much. And I don't have anyone come to my birthday. No one. No friends of mine are not going to come to my birthday. Shark D's not going to come home to my birthday. Comedians are not going to come to my birthday. Shark's not going to come to my birthday. No one. No one's going to come to my birthday. No one. And it hurts so much. I'm like a ghost to them. I'm like a, I'm like a fucking ghost to them. And no one even cares. Sorry, I've just been through so much. I try to make the best out of myself, but... I I just feel empty. But all I can do is keep on moving forward, but it hurts. Like no one's there for you. You're there for them, but no one's there for you. And it hurts. So yeah. That's basically gonna be tomorrow anyway, you know. Some might say nothing on my birthday, I don't know, and no one's gonna wish me a birthday. After all the things I had to go through, the things I had to sacrifice, the happiness I had to let go of, the chance of me finding a girlfriend for myself, it's just gone down the drain for me. All I can do is move on forward and that's it. You see everyone else happy, but you wish that was you over there. And that's it. All you can do is eat yourself a nice cake and let time pass by. And that's it. hard it's really hard that no one's there for you like no one's there for you to like say happy birthday and it hurts i don't know it's just it's gone my birthday's gone already I feel like smashing everything. I want to pick this chair that I'm sitting on right now and start throwing it on the wall because my life is gone. Everything. My 20s is gone. I'm going to turn 30 in the next two years. And when I do, I'm going to feel even more alone. Miserable, alone, with no wife, no kids. My sister wants me to get married to this woman that I don't want to get married to. And that's going to be hell for me, marrying this woman that I just don't know. It hurts. You have no right to force me to get married to some random girl I never met my entire life into a marriage I don't want to be in. When you force me into a marriage that I don't want to be in, that hurts. All I want is a girlfriend that is understanding, caring, and loving. I had a girlfriend before. Her name was Emily Broadhurst. And ever since I checked her tw Twitter profile, she had a boyfriend. 
that was 10 years ago but it's hard to move on because of stuff like this i i do whatever i can to move on and get better i do my best to eat healthy i do my best to eat well and take care of my health but my mental health is actually declining right now and all i can do is move on forward all i can do is keep on going and that's it I don't want my family to do something about birthday, okay? I just want to be alone and drink coffee and let time pass by, like go for a walk around the area and listen to music, and that's it. That's what I can do for my birthday. Because that's it. No one's with me a birthday. Because it's too late now. This has got to be the worst year of my life. I, I felt like I accomplished nothing, you know, from all this time I've been trying to get a normal life trying to get a client trying to make it like a thousand pounds a month still no luck gotta keep on trying anyway you know and I gotta be strong but it's hard to keep on going forward you know so that's it but anyway I'm gonna go right now and that's basically my reality itself that I want to like tell you so yeah appreciate it